On today's Toy Spot, we'll be having a look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra. We'll be having a look today at the Steel Brigade. Ah, uh, yes. A throwback, if you will, to the original mail-away figure of G.I. Joe back in the 80s. We have ourselves the Steel Brigade. Steel Brigade's been, uh, well, was a mail-away figure on several occasions. Um, so much so that I actually, when I was younger, I actually mailed away for my Steel Brigade. I also mailed away for my Super Trooper and Masked Cobra Commander. Perhaps... I have now dated myself. It is very possible. On the side of the package, we've got ourselves a picture of the Steel Brigade. G.I. Joe logo up the top there. And on the back of the package, Pursuit of Cobra, Desert Battle, G.I. Joe fights back as Cobra unleashes its new weapon, the Cobra Hiss Tank. There is a character ID card inside. Characters and events referenced herein are fictional and are not intended to depict actual characters and events. It's good to know. You can also go to G.I. Joe, uh, Joe Club.com should you wish to join the Collector's Club. What I am going to do is take a bit of a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Steel Brigade. Stay tuned, guys. There's definitely more on the way. Stay tuned. As for Steel Brigade's file card, or file piece of paper, it says Security Clearance Top Secret Number 1111 Steel Brigade Special Forces Forces Grade E4 Specialist, Primary Weapon, ARB, Paratrooper, Combat Rifle with Close Quartet, Bayonet, uh, Combat Gear, Ballistic Helmet, Tactical Backpack, Rocket Storage Backpack, Rockets, Bazooka Rocket Launcher, Heavy Machine Gun with Stand, Rotary Grenade Launcher. Steel Brigade Troopers are the backbone of the G.I. Joe Fighting Force, the grunts of the team. They are chosen for their exceptional de dedication and skills. They work hard to hone their skills so that they can move up the ranks to specialized positions. They meet every challenge with determination and enthusiasm and eagerly go on missions where they can match and learn from their superiors. There you go. Looking at the accessories that come with Steel Brigade, as indicated, he does come with two knapsacks, two backpacks. We'll zoom in. The first backpack is just a standard almost Duke's styled backpack where it does come with a shovel. The shovel looks like it is part of the knapsack. It's not removable or anything like that. Nope. It does also have a secondary backpack that contains removable rockets. Now you could take the rockets if you so wish. It also does come with a rocket launcher. You could put the rockets in the front if you wish, like so. It doesn't fire or anything like that. Do we really need a firing mechanism anyways? No. The answer would be no. Um, you could also detach the back the rocket launcher into two pieces if you wish. It would have been nice if they had had a section on the side where you could actually have mounted the bazooka or rocket launcher uh, when he wasn't using it. Still, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um, I'm not sure. I'd probably be inclined to maybe use this knapsack. You could use either or though. I mean, you could, you know, he only has one back, so you'd have to choose one of these, or you could choose none of them. Moving that also aside, he does come with several rifles, as you can see there. I also really like this one here as well. Now, this one actually does have the stand, which I may or may not be correct with saying this, but this stand... I'm pretty sure Hasbro has used this very same stand right from the very beginning of Real American Hero G.I. Joe. I pr I'm pretty sure I had a roadblock that has had the same stand, and I don't think they've changed it. They could have changed the mold. It's very unlikely, though. But the, you can peg the rifle into the top there, if you wish. 
Now, having looked at all the weapons, let's actually have a look at the figure itself. We'll zoom back the camera a bit. As with most G.I. Joes, Steel Brigade does come with a display stand. It says Steel Brigade on the front, the G.I. Joe logo at the top. And let's have a look at the actual figure. By the way, I know a lot of people are probably thinking to themselves, well, Spot, you did mail away for this figure, and if anybody knows growing up in the 80s and you mailed away for Steel Brigade, one of the things it asked you to do was put in his special abilities, what he specializes in, as well as his name. You got to pick your own name. Now, while some kids could have just picked, my name is Ryan, I'm part of G.I. Joe. Oh yeah, my name's Billy, I'm part of G.I. Joe too. Well, you know, Spot tried to come up with something a little more unique. And I remember, oh yes, I remember it as if it was yesterday. When it came time for Spot to actually pick out a name for his uh, Steel Brigade that I've just dropped, uh, Spot ended up picking, and at, at, I believe at about seven, eight years old of age, Spot ended up going with the name Spare Ribs. That's what Spot was going to name his Steel Brigade, Spare Ribs. I don't know. I really, I really don't know. Um, one thing I like about this figure, my Spare Ribs here, is the fact that he pretty much looks exactly like he did in the original G.I. Joe or the 80s G.I. Joe figure. Uh, of course, they've just, they've upped his detailing. He's got himself this really nice uh, a vest, which you could remove if you wanted to. There are snaps. Let me just zoom back in here. There is a snap on either side of the vest. You could just take off the vest that way. I'm not going to. It's just, it's going to be a pain in the you-know-what to try to get back on. He does also have a removable helmet, which most G.I. Joes didn't have back in the day. We take it off. It kind of looks like I think they just used a beach head head for the uh, the head underneath, which is fine. I mean, it's just a mass Joe. It doesn't have to be anything specific. He doesn't have to have a mustache or sideburns or anything like that. But certainly sideburns on a Steel Brigade would be awesome. Sideburns on anything really would be awesome. You just put the hat, the helmet back on there. I like the helmet quite a bit. Now Spot. We missed our chance getting Steel Brigade the first time around with the Pursuit of Cobra. That's that's quite a right, because he, they actually have re-released him in, I believe, the 30th anniversary line as well. And as far as I know, it's the exact same figure. There's nothing different between that figure and this one right here. Steel Brigade's articulation is he does have a rotation in the head, but granted, the, head, the helmet kind of slides around on top of his head. But you can still get up and down movement left and right as it being on a ball joint. He does have a pin and socket shoulder which allow the arms to rotate all the way around in and out. You can bend at the elbow, rotate the, uh, the arm all the way around. You can also rotate at the hand. There's also a, looks to be a slight pivot in the hand as well. There's a rotation in the waist. The legs are on a pin and socket. They move out, back and forth. They bend at the knee. Rotation in the foot and also a bit of a pivot in the foot as well. Oh, oh, and also as a side note, Steel Brigade here has very nice tight joints, which is what I like as well. You know anything about me, it's I really like tight joints. Let's get this rifle in his hand. Whoops. Get this rifle in his hand. Now having had Having had the original Steel Brigade when I was younger, I think this is very cool to have now got this guy in a re-released G.I. Joe figure. Now, fingers crossed, as Spot tries to get this rifle in his... You know what? We'll put the other rifle in his hand. I like this one anyways. It was calling to me. There we go. And I'm going to also put the knapsack on. The fact that they did re-release this figure is very cool in my eyes. I would only hope that this has opened the door for other mail away figures. Oh, fingers crossed. Could you imagine if we got a Super Trooper mail away as a regular G.I. Joe release? How awesome would that be? Just gonna get this guy pegged onto his display stand. Bear with me for a second. There we go. And there you have Steel Brigade. Steel Brigade, I am gonna give, and it could be the fact that I'm nostalgic about this guy. Steel Brigade, I'm gonna give a 7.52. 
Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the G.I. Joe Pursuit of Cobra. We're looking today at Spare Rib. Oh, no. We were looking at Seal Brigade. Spot just wanted to call him Spare Ribs. If you are my age and you did uh, mail away or wanted to mail away for this guy back in the day, uh, let me know down below what you would have named him. Or, you know what? In fact, let's just open the forum here. What would you have named this figure if you could name a G.I. Joe character? Anything you want. Now, granted, Billy and uh, Ryan might not be the most original, but let me know down below. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time.